Hey everybody, if you are somebody that is not really an experienced hiker, you're a beginner, you're a first timer, this is the video for you. We're gonna be going over the eight tips for beginners and first time hikers. So stick around, this is gonna be a fun one. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day. So first tip is you've got to pick your trail. And I would recommend start small. Don't go for the big trails. Don't get up there on those 10 mile hikes. Don't even do backpacking trips as your first. Start with some short day hikes. So the best way to do this, in our opinion, is all trails. The all trails app is something that will give you all kinds of awesome different types of trails in your area and in surrounding areas. So you can literally type in anything and it'll come up. So that's a great app that you can get on your phone, super easy to use, that'll show you where to go, what to do. Another great piece is just looking it up on Google. A lot of times state park websites or just articles will show you the best trails in your area. So start small and then build your way up. The second tip is find a partner, family, friend, whoever. Don't go hiking alone if you're a beginner or if this is your first time. So make sure you've got somebody else going with you. It also just makes it more fun. And then third tip is you've gotta have the right clothing. This right here, this is wrong. There you go, that's a lot better. I like to have a good dry fit moisture wicking shirt and then also some shorts that'll double as swim trunks because I want stuff that's going to dry fast. I'm going to be sweating when I'm on the trail, you probably are too, and then if there's some kind of waterfall or swimming hole, you want to make sure that when you get out, you're going to dry quickly. So having proper clothing is super important, but even more important than that, is your shoes. You gotta have good hiking boots. Having a good pair of hiking boots is gonna make all the difference. I actually have a review of these particular boots, why I love them. So you can jump over after this video and watch that. And then have some good socks. I've got wool socks on here, as you can see. These are very protective. They also kind of wick the moisture off my feet. And then I've got sock liners on underneath and what those do is they prevent blisters. As you're walking and hiking, climbing a trail, it prevents your feet from that rubbing and creating that blister. And if you're going out for the first time on some hikes, it's very important. The fourth tip is being prepared and packing the 10 essentials. And in order for you to do that, you've gotta have a good hiking pack. Right here, this is a Osprey hiking pack. It's a day pack, so this is what you'll be looking for. Don't go get the most expensive one when you first start out. Get something manageable, something small, because again, you just gotta have the 10 essentials. So this pack, I love it because it's big enough that I can carry everything I need. And if you wanna see a more in-depth of what we bring on a day hike, you can jump over to that video and see that. As you become more experienced, you'll probably want to bring some of those things as well, just because it'll make the hike more fun, make it more of an experience, and just make good memories. So this is a great pack, love it, but there's lots out there that Osprey makes that will be great for you, so go look for one. Now the 10 essentials, the first one is most important, that is water. The second is food and snacks. The third, some type of fire starter. The fourth, first aid kit. The fifth, knife or tool. Sixth, headlamp, flashlight, some type of light. Number seven is extra clothing. Make sure you have plenty of layers. Number eight is sun protection. Sunglasses, sunscreen, gotta protect yourself. Number nine is navigation, a map, a compass, just in case you get lost. Number 10 is some type of shelter, small tarp, rope, something like that. If you've got all of these things, you're prepared for really anything that the trail can throw at you. And then the next tip is you've gotta do what we call trail prep. You gotta make sure that the trail is open 
because sometimes there's closures for bad weather, knocking trees down and things like that. And then if there's any kind of permit that you have to get in order to do the trail, you have to do that beforehand. You can't just show up and expect to go on the trail. So if you give the park ranger a call, whether it's a state park or a national park, most of the time you'll be able to reach them on the website and you can call them, ask for that. They're super nice, they'll let you know. Then number six, our sixth tip here, is you've got to check the weather. Make sure that you're not going out in some bad weather conditions because that makes for a bad hike. And then another thing to consider within this is the weather on top of a mountain can be very different than down at the base of it. So if you don't know how to figure that out, again, you can call the park ranger, you can ask some friends who have done it before, whatever it is, you can figure it out, look it up, but make sure that you're prepared for the weather and you bring the necessary things for that. Number seven tip is tell somebody where you're going, what you're doing, and what time you'll be back. A really cool feature of that All Trails app that we were talking about earlier is it actually has a lifeline that will send an alert to somebody if you're not back in the designated time that you put in the app. It's a very neat thing. You can check out our All Trails video and the pro version because that's part of the pro version and see if that's something that you want to do. The number eight tip is don't be a hero. Take it easy, take it slow, take breaks if you need them. Drink plenty of water, eat plenty of food while you're on that trail, fuel yourself up, start early in the morning. That way there's not a lot of pressure for you to get back before dark. So you can take it easy, take it slow. We want you to enjoy it. You'll get better the more that you do it. You'll build that endurance and you'll break through that mental barrier of, I can't do this, this is hard. Hiking is more mental than it is physical. So you gotta push yourself in order to really enjoy it and make those awesome memories. We hope you enjoyed the video. This is the eight essential tips for first time hikers and beginning hikers. Keep these in mind as you go out on adventures yourself. We'd love for you to like the video, subscribe to our channel, to the Journey More community. Come journey more with us and we'll see you next time.